Welcome to another edition of In the Divide. Well, I'm coming at you today, understanding the news of the day is not good. Probably, you probably don't even want to watch this video. Probably don't want to hear anything about crypto for the next week to six months. I understand. But I have some news for you because news is what we need, whether good or bad, to, you know, to continue to march on. And uh, times like this, we have to understand trouble don't last always. I want you to do me a favor, though. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Go ahead and like the video, dislike the video. Also, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. But let's get into this right quick. News for Al Grand is not great. Is the news for the whole crypto is not great. It's not good. It's probably something I wouldn't want to talk about. Algo is hovering at 46 cents, 40 some cents, somewhere in the 40s that I don't want to really continue to verbalize out of my mouth because it's not what I expected. Because I always wanted to go up, but understanding what the market is, I understand this is needed for the market. For those who are in this market without understanding the market dynamics, with inflation, the CPI, the overspending, the regulations, the geopolitical machinations of this whole thing. You have to understand from the pandemic to the point that we are, there was a bubble created, an artificial monetary bubble that kept the economy afloat. So now with real world, <sighs> needing the fantasy of sit home and do nothing and collect extra money and just to keep the economy afloat. Now there is real world consequences. There were consequences going to be coming before that, but now we have to have the rubber meet the road. But I'm telling you right now, there are some people who are traders who are coming into this new environment of crypto and they're they come in with a trader's mentality where we're going to be making money, making money, making money. But a lot of the, the money making aspect of crypto is not going to be moonshots. It's going to be over a spirit period of time. Time is the multiplier here. So unfortunately, there are periods of time where your leverage in the market, your access to the market, where you actually need capital is in times where you're in an extreme bubble and your assets are low, are depressed. Just like 2008, if you needed your money in 2008, usually you got out the market, you took a loss. But what happens if you're able to persevere, if you're able to hold, if you're able to have the diamond hands I've been telling you about, you're able to bear the bear markets because the bear market leaves because bears hibernate. They can't stay around all year. So I'm telling you right now, while the bear is out, look for your food, look for your food because that food is going to be very valuable when that bear goes to sleep. Right? So I got some news for you today. News, news, news. News, uh, I'll go news. Hopefully to just keep your mind off, give you some uh, positive reinforcement. When things are going down, that's when people take advantage of these opportunities. Napsters, Napster, acquired by hive mind, Algorand at undisclosed price. This is someone taking this market, which is very upside down, topsy-turvy, and this is Algorand 
making plays for future. So this is what I'm telling that you have to be long-term bullish. And that's why some of the news that you are not going to get because everybody is in full mode panic. You'll miss some of these things. If you don't know about Napster, the beginning of 2000, uh, turn of the century, Napster was a big thing, file sharing and everything. It was big, but now with streaming and digital and all that other stuff, it's not as relevant. So here is Napster, once popular in the early 2000s for peer-to-peer -peer audio file sharing, has been acquired by Hivemind and Algorand the teams announced today. Emily Lavelle, who has been named interim CEO of Napster, where she previously served as chief, chief strategy officer, according to her LinkedIn. Lavelle is a music industry veteran with previous gigs at Warner Music Group, EMI, Music, Bauer Music in the BBC. Now, I'm telling you this, this is going to be big for the space in DeFi, NFT, because what's going on, dropping a little knowledge, I'm not going to have this be long, but on Algorand, there's a couple of things that's moving. You may have saw my video, and if not, um, it's, it's in my catalog, um, where Algorand, the partner with LiveWire, LimeWire. LimeWire is another music shot site. Now on Algorand, there's a couple of music um, uh, platforms. Um, one is Opulus and another is Dequency. And these are music NFTs. These are gonna be uh, transitioning where artists are gonna be able to take and commandeer their own music and bring it to you. And you can be able to participate in that artist royalties. You can be able to benefit from an artist who allows you to collaborate and fund and uh, take royalties off of a record they may be producing. So there is in this space, uh, ability to make some tremendous, tremendous new revenue streams for the artists and have uh, people, retail investors, get in on their favorite artists, get in on being able to take advantage of some trends that they were not being able to take advantage of before. It's another investment stream in the money, in the music market that has never existed. So volatile markets in uncertain times often bring exciting opportunities. At Hive Mind, we believe in developing thesis and building enduring value. Music X and Web3 is one of the most exciting spaces we've come across. Matt Zhang, Hive Mind founder and managing partner, wrote in a LinkedIn post announcing the acquisition. Two weeks ago, Hive Mind undertook a similar effort in backing LimeWire with the aim of bridging a once infamous file sharing brand with Web3. I'm telling you right now, there are things going on right now that's changing the economic structure of the market. And if you are in the mindset, take advantage of these things, these opportunities like Dequency, like Opulus, like LimeWire, these things are going to be changing. The economy is changing right now. The economy before the, the pandemic is not going to be the economy after the pandemic. All this stuff that's going on, it's changing the very structure of market. So outside in one or two years, the market's going to be changed. Crypto is going to be so much more ingrained in our technology and our daily lives because right now we're transferring because we're at a bottom. See what happens when recessions and all these bubbles burst, there is always a rewiring of systems. There is always 
um, looking for to do things better and more efficient. Now, the only thing that's more resistant this time is that the people who have the power, the financial, the fiat people, the government people, they're trying to figure out how can they tap in and take advantage and monetize the the the, the crypto assets that that they see as being a threat that they see as technology wise being the next evolution of what they're doing. But the thing is, they don't have a plan to be able to take advantage of you yet. That's why it's not being implemented, because they need to be able to take advantage, find a way to make money off of you, because that's their, their, that's what their whole structure. That structure goes away with crypto. Crypto is not going away. You can't put the genie back in a bottle. You can't put the toothpaste back in the tube because right now, the people who understand what it is, it's not going back. So I want you to understand that these things are happening even now in this down market. There's going to be things that's going to be up there to up, upturn the market, the current market. And you're going to see when you come out on the other end, you're going to have those diamond hands to hold the value of your crypto, hold your future in your hands with diamonds, okay? This is Sam Houston. I hope you, you have a great day. This is me hoping your tomorrow is better than your today.